Hey guys, welcome back. It's Evan Husa 57 here. We are back on Neverwinter on the Xbox One. And due to the fact that many of you have asked if I would do an update video, well, here it is. I have an update for my Control Wizard Level 60 Spellstorm Mage. In addition to the build that I came up with and I did a video on, this is now the update to my current gear list and I will give you the reason why I am using this gear. So to start with, uh, the only thing that I've done is I've used the Celestial Die Pack on most of my gear. And this is before the Mod 6 update. So just keep that in mind, the gear will change when Mod 6 comes out. And that's why I haven't gone and spent a ton of diamonds on buying the best possible gear that you can get now. Because I already do enough damage with 13.2k gear score. So first off... I don't have a complete armor set. Again, I've been running off of armor that I just pick up here and there from dungeons. So I'm using the High Vizier's Cape of the Drake, which you can buy with Drake Seals. You get them in the majority of the T2 Epic Dungeons. And uh, very easy to obtain, doesn't really take a lot. Decent stats, has a utility slot, which I have my Salvager's Enchantment rank 7. That allows me to get the bags of salvage. And then for armor, I'm using the Shadow Weaver's Tunic, which has really good stats. It also has a defensive slot, and it has the armor enchantment slot. In that case, I'm using the Lesser Soul Forged, which is pretty much a universal uh, armor enchantment. It's good for all classes. I'm using the Draconic Gloves. They have a utility slot. They also have the Overload slot. Um, gloves, again, you can wear whatever you want. Uh, this is the gear that I went with. It's more than enough for me to run even the Epic Shores of Torin, Epic uh, Lair Lost Mouth, pretty much anything that's available before Mod 6, and it doesn't require you to spend a ton of money. Of course, I do have my Chilling Eye of the Golden Dragon, which is my artifact main hand weapon. I upgraded it to its epic status. I did not upgrade it any farther only because of the fact that it has not been confirmed or denied with Mod 6 whether or not we are going to have to buy all new artifact gear. So personally, I'm just waiting and saving my, art my uh, refinement points until then. Also, I'm using the Shadow Weaver Talisman. This is not the T2 version, so uh, it's not the best offhand that you can get. But, like I said, it's perfectly good for me. It's got a defensive slot. And then I'm using the Arcane Overseer Slippers, which have decent stats. You can do better. And, of course, it's got my Dragon's Horde enchantment on it. I did go ahead and buy my end game uh, Gemmed Exquisite Pants and my shirt, my Gemmed Exquisite Shirt. The reason why I went with the shirt and pants combo is for the recovery and armor penetration. The trousers actually have a defensive slot, and then the shirt has an offensive slot, which is really cool. Now, two pieces of gear that will be my end game gear, and as long as I don't have to buy a new one for mod 6 to get the highest level, is the belt of black ice, which is really cool. Uh, it does have a utility slot on it, and uh, sadly, it, the actual other slot does not unlock until you hit legendary. And then rings, I'm just using a couple basic rings, the Necromancer Ring of Undeath and the Priest Ring of Burning Light. So of course you can do better by getting T2 rings. Uh, I did not run the Shores of Torin jewelry set because my personal favorite piece is the Cloak of Black Ice, which at Epic, it increases your action points by 3% every three seconds while in combat. And uh, I have a utility slot on it, which I have another Lesser Dragon Horde enchantment in that. Also contributing to my stats are all the companions that I have, which uh, companions don't matter too much at the moment because all the good ones aren't out yet. But uh, I have the Rogue Illusionist, the Cantankerous Mage, the uh, Neverwinter Archer, and then the one that I keep summoned all the time, which is my uh, Ion Stone of Allura, and then the Wear Rat. And uh, that makes up all my companions. But for the Ion Stone of Allura, that's an augmentation companion. So again, the best gear that you can get possible. But he gives me another 175 lifesteal, 174 recovery, 
542 armor pen, 666 critical strike, and 1,116 power. So definitely worth it. Plus, I have a rank 7 Eldric runestone, so I get another 8.5% of the pet's ratings, which is really good. So that's the setup that I have um, for my character at the moment. And uh, we're going to go over here to stats and show you. Right now, i got 24,080 health, which is pretty good for a mage. Mages are normally very squishy. I've got so much experience, it's ridiculous. But that gives me a total of 5,000 power. But, well, actually, 5,089 power, 3,075 critical strike, 2,356 armor pen. Armor pen is extremely important. Uh, you can get about 24% armor penetration, which is what you want, ideally. And then uh, recovery is 2,121. The combat advantage bonus doesn't really matter that much, but it's a little bit of extra damage. I've got 166, so that's 2.1%. Control bonus is very helpful. Being a control wizard, I got 184 on that, which is another 2%. Defense is helpful, but I'm an offensive character, pure DPS, so I have 1,096 defense. That gives me 20% damage resistance. Uh, deflect is basically useless. You will have a little bit of that with the gear, but I only have 438. It's not something you should really go for. Regeneration, same thing. You'll have a little bit from your gear, but it's not really something that you should go for. Lifesteal is absolutely crucial. You want at least 8 to 10%, so I have 1,135 on that. And then uh, pretty much everything else isn't really important. Uh, my crit chance and everything down from there. The only thing that you do need to keep in mind is the law of diminishing return. This is very important. You can stack power, you can stack hit points, and you can stack defense. All of those stats do not suffer from the law of diminishing return, but anything else, critical strike, armor pen, recovery, um, control bonus, everything like that uh, critical severity it all suffers from the law of diminishing return basically once you go over 4,000 points in a particular skill then you're not going to be getting the same benefit the more stats that you add to it you're not going to get the same benefit that you would below 4,000 so power you can go ahead and stack it doesn't matter that's just going to give you an extra damage bonus which is really really good and pretty much you go from there. I will update this gear list uh, once Mod 6 comes out and I get all the current gear for Mod 6, which will be my end game gear. Also get my end game artifacts because at the moment I'm using the Lantern of Revelation and the Portal Stone. Both of those are excellent artifacts for the Control Wizard. And uh, as far as enchantments, most of my enchantments in the offensive slot are dark enchantments for the increased armor penetration. In the utility slots, I use the dragon horde enchantments. And in the defensive slots, for the most part, I also use dark enchantments due to the fact that they, in the defensive slot, they give you lifesteal. Personal preference, depending on the gear that you have available, will determine the enchantments that you use. Uh, biggest thing on my weapon, though, if I go and I'll show you, I'll uh, manage item enchantments. I have a greater Vorpal enchantment, so that gives me a plus 38% critical severity, which critical severity is key to doing a shit ton of damage. I also have a rank 7 dark enchantment in the offensive slot, which gives me another 185 armor pen. Uh, basically, hopefully you guys found the video informative. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment. Otherwise, smash the like button. Make sure that you subscribe for more content. And as soon as I get the new gear from Mod 6, I will do an update gear video and a level 70 build video. So thanks, have fun, and see you in another episode.